I'm just uh, going to repost this uh, report by Mr. MBB333. Um, he did an amazing video on the upcoming Hurricane Dorian that's going to hit the east coast of Florida most likely. And uh, he's got a pretty uh, substantial uh, report to give about the wave heights uh, predicted and winds. Uh, this could turn into a category five hurricane and on top of that there's something called the king tides hitting the region of florida right now um september 2nd actually it's going to go through uh that date which happens to be around the time of landfall predicted if it does hit central florida um as as the path is changing a little bit um but it looks pretty steady right there around Lake, what is that, Lake Okeechobee, right around Orlando, Florida. Um, so anywhere from Miami all the way up through the Panhandle, uh, f pay attention. Here's his uh, video. Friday, August 30th, 2.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, I want to show you the location where Hurricane Dorian is forecasted to make landfall. Right in here around Delray Beach, West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, north of Miami. This is a long-range forecast. This is four days out. That is subject to change between now and then. More than likely, it will change. One thing's for sure, it's been upgraded to a major hurricane. It's now Category 3. I think after all it's been through, now that's entering these very warm waters and atmospheric conditions that are favorable for the formation of hurricanes would surprise me if this thing easily went to Cat 5 before it made landfall as it was going through the Bahamas because these are some of the warmest waters on Earth. The location of the landfall right now is southeast Florida. And I'm going to go back to that location where they are forecasting here at VentureSky.com waves in the 40-foot range, over 40 feet. 41, 42. I tracked down a buoy out in the eastern Bahamas, and as it was a Category 1 storm, it was pushing waves. There were significant wave heights of 20 feet, and this was last night at 12.50 a.m. So this storm's now a Category 3 storm, and by the time it's a Category 4 storm, I think it will easily reach these 40-foot waves if it does impact in that location. Once again, I want to emphasize this thing is still 96 hours out from landfall. A lot can change between now and then. And the forecast now, though, has it going into southeast Florida, so that's what we have to go with. Conditions in the atmosphere can change, causing this thing to take an entirely different path. But right now, here at weathercharts.com, I know a lot of people are interested in how much rain this thing's going to bring if it slows down to a crawl like they're predicting and hangs around the Florida Peninsula for a better part of 48 hours, basic math will tell you that if a tropical storm is capable of raining a half an inch an hour for 48 hours, well, that's going to tell you 24 inches is not going to be too hard to achieve. And that's what they're showing here, again, at weathercharts.com. They're showing somewhere in the range of 22, 21 inches of rain. Right there, you can see 23.4 in this area right here, east central Florida, along the coast, southeastern Florida. All that brown area represents the brown and light browns are 20 and just over 20 inches of rain. I think under these conditions, if it hangs around for the better part of two days, like they're showing, even here at windy.com, this thing making landfall on Monday, sticking around through Monday into Tuesday into Wednesday, I mean, that's two days of tropical storm force rain going up the coast of Florida. So, like I said, if it's, if it's capable of producing a half an inch of rain an hour, that would be easily 24 inches of rain. Here's as the storm started to take on a classic hurricane shape this afternoon. I got a little video clip of it when it just started revealing its eye wall. We haven't even seen an eye wall from this thing. But it went through some treacherous conditions down around Puerto Rico. I honestly had my doubts that it was even going to become a hurricane. But this afternoon, right there, you can see the eye wall did reveal itself. It is small, but it's getting bigger. And this thing's slowing down as it's entering the very warm waters of the Bahamas. They should be on high.
high alert for this storm as it's going to probably easily, after all it's been through, now that it's in this pristine climate for the formation of hurricanes, will probably easily become a Category 4 storm. I mean, if it pulled through all the dry air and wind shear down around Puerto Rico, now that it's up here on a, a big freeway, so to speak, it should easily become a Category 4 storm. But again, the exact path of this thing can and will change because that's still over three days out, and those long-range forecasts always change. But we're keeping a close eye on it, and wherever... Get 50% off all Domino's online pizza orders at menu price this week only, which includes right now. Enjoy all the thrills of summer in one amazing getaway. Bush Gardens... ...make landfall if it does slow down. Look for at least... 20 inches of rain and 40 foot swells are predicted right now here at VentureSky.com along the coast of Florida, wherever it does make landfall, more than likely as a category four storm, uh, bringing with it over 20 inches of rain. Here's some new photos that have been sent in. All right, guys, that was the uh, report that uh, Mr. Sky uh, 33 showed. Now, let's see if we can pull up the, oh, Dorian, the, uh, the history of the name Dorian, if you're interested, 1000 BC, um, let's see here, King Tides, yes, King Tides. Just so you can read up about it, you can Google this. Um, they're expected to hit Florida around uh, October or September 2nd. Also, like right now, tonight through October 2nd, it's going to already have a tide, which is the highest of the year. Ironically, let's see here, King Tide. It's when the moon and the sun line up both of the gravitational pull on one side of the earth. So it makes this huge, huge tide called sunny day tidal flooding. You can pause this video and read a little bit about it. It's very interesting and this happens to be happening right now is this huge hurricane is developing on the east side of Florida I mean this this usually floods coastal areas when it's uh, like Miami area and uh, north of that when it's just normal that's why they call them sunny day tides um, but yeah please if you're in this area of uh, where it's predicted to uh, make landfall, I would suggest going either to the west coast or being safe and just completely uh, evacuating the state of Florida, guys. This is nothing to mess with. If what he said, 41 foot waves on top of this already king tide event, man, we could have a huge catastrophe here. You can see all these articles right here. Um, <laughs> just be careful guys